What's going on Guardians? Your boy Sly here back again with another Destiny video for you. This time around we're going to be taking a look at all of the SIVA fragments that have been found so far. Now the record book only requires 15 to complete that section, but there are 30 scattered around the Cosmodrome in total. Now with that said, we think there are still one or two left to find in the Plague Lands and the rest is probably locked up in the raid. Come Friday, we'll know for sure. So for those out there looking to get a head start on grabbing all of them, I grouped these together by availability in missions. So you can just load up your second character and grab them along the way as soon as you unlock each mission. Most of these can be found on patrol, but a few of them are behind doors that only open up during missions or strikes. And also, if you collect them while you're in a mission, you won't have to use a splicer key to get the ones locked behind lasers. So instead of running around on patrol zigzagging everywhere, missions give everyone the same place to start and you'll run the exact same path. That helps when trying to find landmarks in the video. Also, all of these missions will be in order the game gives them to you. This way you can just go from one to the next. Strikes will be last. So, good luck guys, let's start with the first mission, King of the Mountain. This SIVA cluster is named Iron Lords 2.9. After Ghost hacks into the gondola and you take it up the mountain, you come to a part where you have to jump out. Go ahead, fly out of there, and once you land, immediately turn right at the cliff. You'll see a flat section of rock just around the corner, and you can jump on that. This cluster is located closest to the path right there in the crack. And that is the only one left on this mission. Next up, we're going to revisit Fellwinter Peak and the Death Climb to get to the top. The SIVA cluster up here is Fallen 3.1. Now, sorry about not showing the full path in my earlier video, but frankly, I was just trying to save you guys some time. Hopefully, this one will serve you a little better. Just remember that if a rock has a pointed ledge sticking out the side, more than likely, you'll need to jump from that in order not to hit the ledges in front of you, and then, of course, fall to your death. Take your time, max your agility, and you got this. Alright, next up we're going to check out the mission called Walls Come Down. This is your first trip to the Plague Lands. At spawn, you're going to need to work your way towards the catch and physically hop onto the ship itself. Once you jump on, fight your way to the inside hangar and then hang a left. Head up the stairs and the SIVA cluster Clovis Bray 1.9 is located to your left on the ground about halfway. Once you have that bad boy, continue on with the mission and there are actually four more to grab throughout this entire mission. The second SIVA fragment is called Clovis Bray 1.3. Make your way out of the catch and just follow your mission marker. Before you walk up the stairs and enter the wall itself, look down to your right and go ahead and jump down into this flooded tunnel. Right in the middle of the collapsed metal, you can barely see the fragment glowing behind the wall. It's pretty easy to spot. Jump down, crouch, you'll see it right there in the middle with all the twisted metal. Next, you're going to make your way through the entire wall itself until you end up exiting into the Divide. You need to scan a large SIVA cluster on your right hand side to continue on with the mission. Go ahead and do that and then walk over towards the right side of the Divide, like you were heading towards the Rocket Yard. There is a train cart loaded with what looks like to be missile parts or some kind of circular train cart. Hop on top of that and then look up towards the broken overpass. Iron Lords 2.1 is located on the underside of the road. You'll see it plain as day once you jump up. The next stop is going to be straight ahead to the dead fallen walker covered in snow. He's in the middle of the divide and very easy to spot. Walk towards the tank turret and Iron Lords 2.0 is located directly underneath the barrel. You should see Collect Fragment as soon as you walk up next to it. Okay, so the final SIVA fragment within this mission is kind of off the beaten path but still close by. Staying in a straight line from the last fragment off the Fallen Walker, hop on your Sparrow and start driving like you're heading back to the normal Cosmodrome patrol spawn. You're not actually going to go that far, but once you get to the area where you found your first ship of the game, the next SIVA fragment Iron Lords 2.2 is located here. The opposite wall of where your ship was hanging is where it's located, close to the side entryway. You'll see it glow behind the metal siding. This is the last fragment of this mission. After you've done everything you need to do here, go back up to orbit and look for the mission simply called the Plague Lands. You start off this mission in the Rocket Yard. Immediately from spawn, take a left and head backwards to where the downed bridge is. Kind of like you're going to go to Sepix Prime. There's a small room on the left hand side of the map. The fragment Clovis Bray 1.7 is located inside. Once you're inside, just take a right. You'll see it there behind that fallen barrel. 
Next, we need to head into the Plaguelands itself, so follow your mission marker and make your way out of the Rocket Yard and into the Plaguelands. Once you leave the building that connects the two, stay straight on the road until you see your second large SIVA cluster on your right hand side. It will be at the top of this little hill, and within the tendrils of this cluster you'll find the fragment Clovis Bray 1.4 near the edge. Once you grab that bad boy, continue on with the mission until you reach the bunker area. The huge missile in the middle of the map should let you know that you're definitely in the right place. Now right in the middle of the bridge is some sort of control tower. Go ahead and enter the tower, wind up the stairs, and the computer on your left will have a SIVA fragment growing out the back of it. This is Fragment Clovis Bray 1.5. So from here on out, there's only one fragment left within this mission. Carry on with your objective until you reach the end where three large Golden Age artillery guns have been brought back to life using SIVA. Our last fragment is Clovis Bray 1.7 and it's located on the far right cannon. There are a ton of enemies here guys, so take your time and watch out. You'll need to actually jump on the cannon itself and that leaves you exposed, so make sure you do that quickly but you'll see it chillaxing at the base of the barrel. Like I said, that is the last one out of this mission. Go ahead and finish it or head back to orbit. And the next one we're checking out is the last major campaign mission called the Iron Tomb. It's definitely my favorite mission of the DLC by far and there are a lot of fragments you can pick up along the way. So once you actually unlock this mission, start it up, Hop on your sparrow until you reach the inside of the ship where you have to reverse the course. After you cleared out the enemies, look towards the right side of the room about halfway. There's a black SIVA triangle and a fragment right next to it on the ground. This is Fragment Clovis Bray 1.2. Once you're done with that, go ahead, exit the ship, and then look out in the distance towards a beached boat. Laying on its side, you'll see it past the fog, close to the cliffs. Jump onto the boat and head towards the bow. You'll see Clovis Bray 1.1 right at the very tip. Once you grab that, jump back on your sparrow, continue on with the mission, and the next couple of fragments are a little further down. Follow your markers until you reach the Archon's Forge. Now there's only one way into the forge itself, so it's pretty easy to find. Once you're inside, stay on top of the platform and look towards your left. You'll see another platform over there. Go ahead and jump on it and then look inward towards the back. Siva Fragment Clovis Bray 1.0 is hanging on the right hand side of the door. Alright Guardians, time to make the descent. Keep following the mission path until you start to get packed into these claustrophobic tunnels. Follow them all the way down until you end up dropping out of them. This area is known as Site 6, and after you chop up some Fallen, look for the console that you're supposed to scan. To the left of that is a monitor on the ceiling. Look behind that and you'll see Fragment Iron Lords 2.8. Now that's all there is in this area, so go ahead and clear the hangar of enemies and then make the Vault of Glass light drop towards the end of the mission and the SIVA replicator. So after the drop and before you start heading towards the buildings, look behind you and look towards the cliffs. At the very edge, way in the back, you'll notice these flat cliffs are kind of lit up. What you're going to do is you're going to jump to those cliffs, follow them all the way down until the very end, and you'll see a small cave on your left hand side. Siva Fragment Iron Lords 2.6 is located in the very back of this cave on the floor between some rocks. Pick up that bad boy and start making your way back towards the area that you dropped down from. And then keep on continuing with the mission. Fight or run your way past the enemies and head into the SIVA chamber. Run down the long pathway and I know this isn't a dead ghost guide but look to the right on this bridge. You'll see one plain as day. I've already picked it up so it's not there but it's pretty hard to miss. Now once you make it into the area where you have to do some epic axe work, don't scan the console yet. If you complete the mission, you might not find the fragment in time and it'll boot you to orbit. And this thing is way the hell down here, so don't scan it, just run past your friends hanging in the ceiling and look towards the left pillar. Run towards the backside and a few feet above your head you'll see the last cluster of the mission, Iron Lords 2.7. Alright guys, last mission before we get to the strikes, and this one was actually found before the DLC even dropped, and it's also the only mission we have on Mars for Rise of Iron. Before we start this one, be sure you go back and grab this, even if you've already glitched through it and grabbed it beforehand. If you did, it doesn't count, you're going to need to grab it again, even if it's the same character. This fragment isn't until the very end, so just do the mission as you normally would. You'll spawn into the area where the sword-loving Scion Flare Strike actually ends. Now, it's just backwards. 
follow the mission marker, and once you fall down the elevator shaft to the Clovis Bray Exoscience server room, look for the computer and the tower on the right. Jump on the rim and Fallen 3.2 is behind the monitor on the left. Alright guys, hey in there, we are done with the missions, but now let's go ahead and fire up those strikes. The first one we're going to do is the Wretched Eye Strike. Like usual, start the mission off as you normally would, until you get into the Bunker Triglov area. Bunker, Triglov, Trivlog. Anyway, you might notice that tower you were in earlier, it's in the middle of the bridge. Well, if you're asking why are we back here again, this door is only open on patrol and during this strike, and there are others along the way, so you might as well get them all at once, right? Anyway, once you pass the tower and reach the other side of the bridge, look towards your right hand side. You're going to see a small set of stairs. Get to the top of those stairs and then turn around. You're going to look for a pipe on the wall. Jump up there and then try to skip over to the ductwork. Off of the ductwork, you're going to need to jump to the very upper level. Pass by the two nukes and then you'll see a support or like a lift crane directly in the middle of the room. When you jump on that one, you'll see the next fragment on the left edge of this machine. It is Clovis Bray 1.6. So after you grab that, jump down, continue on with the rest of the strike. The next fragment is right before the actual boss fight, so you got a while to go. Once you get into the fourth missile silo, which is the only one that has a crooked missile in it, jump up the missile support and look towards the left of the silo wall. You'll notice some hovering walkways. These are going to fall as soon as you land on them. The best way I did it was to aim for this tank right here. There is a solid piece you can actually stand on so you can get your bearings on where to jump from next. So from there, you're either going to need to jump into that square cubby hole, or you're going to try to float past it and hold square or X to collect it before falling to your death. Those platforms will give out as soon as you land on them. Just a warning so the first person won't have a hard time getting it. The rest might be a little more tricky. This beauty is Fallen 3.4. Go ahead and say hi to the priest, and after you finish up, it's on to our last strike and our last set of discovered fragments. Alright, so, Sepix, load it up and head on in. Once you pass the new courtyard area and fight your way to the Hive Cedar, which is now open by the way, our first fragment is actually located inside there. At the start of the mission, jump on your Sparrow and head all the way in until you hit enemies. Clear them out for your teammates. What you're going to do after that is head down the stairs until you get to the Hive Cedar, which is on your left-hand side. Walk inside, and on the back side of the middle column, you'll see Fragment Iron Lords 2.5. There's nothing worth noting in this next area, and the next set of fragments aren't until you reach the large outdoor area known as the Blast. Once you actually make it to the Blast, deal with the Fallen Walker first. He is a real pain in the ass, and one fragment is literally right next to the dude. But if you're slick enough, you can actually fight your way to the front left of this area. Directly left of the walker tank is a small room with an office in it. Head up the stairs and watch out for enemies. On patrol, this is actually locked off by a splicer key as well as a few others that I mentioned. This is why grabbing these in strikes or missions will actually save you a little trouble. At the top of these stairs, look to the left and Siva Fragment Iron Lords 2.3 is located in one of the lockers on the bottom left hand side. Now hopefully by the time you're back, your awesome teammates have dealt with the walker tank. If they have, head towards the gate where the walker died, and on the right hand side of the map, you'll see one of those, I guess, Siva Blooms? <laughs> I'm not really sure what they call them. Anyway, shoot it dead, and then you'll notice another fragment chilling on the back side of this pole, right where that cluster used to be. This is Fragment Iron Lord 2.3. Alright ladies and gents, last one. Now, first off, I apologize beforehand how quick this is going to go. Now, I totally don't mean this video, I mean what you're about to see. I had no idea where this fragment was and only knew from a suggestion from a friend. I didn't want to wait to look at the end and then have to redo the strike if I missed it and went to orbit. So it is kind of fast, but it is very easy. Go ahead, kill Sepix. Again. Then once your chest spawns, look to the far left. You're going to see a gray kind of slanted in the snow. Put yourself between the wall and that grate, and our last fragment will appear. Siva Fragment Fallen 3.5. And that, my friends, is finally it. You know what? Good thing I didn't make the fragment guide back on the Dreadnought. That would have been insane. Anyway, guys, that's it. So far, at least at the time of this video, this guide is every fragment found by myself or the community. I'm pretty sure that one or two more will pop up here in the next few hours, or at least no later than a day. The rest are no doubt locked in the raid, and of course you can always look to Planet Destiny or my channel Sly Nation for everything you need to know about Rise of Iron. 
Keep checking back as it all starts to unfold. As always, you can find me on YouTube or Twitter at Sly Nation. Feel free to hit me up anytime. All right, guys, I'm out. This is your boy Sly. See ya. Yeah.